What is the 25th Amendment? Ratified by Congress in 1967, it lays out the procedures for replacing the president should he or she be incapacitated or deemed unable to do their job. The plan is explained in four sections. Section 1 says, in case of the removal of the president from office, his death or resignation, the vice president will take over. Section 2 explains who would replace the vice president, saying the president shall nominate a VP who will only take office after a majority vote in both the House and Senate. For example, in 1973, after Spiro Agnew was forced to resign because of tax evasion charges, President Richard Nixon nominated Representative Gerald Ford to become president. Section 3 outlines how the president can transfer his powers to the VP, then resume office when he's ready. For example, George W. Bush invoked Section 3 when he underwent a medical procedure. Dick Cheney temporarily assumed power until Bush was fit to serve again. Section 4 is the last and only provision to the 25th Amendment that has yet to be used. It says the VP would become acting president if he or she, along with the majority of the president's cabinet, inform Congress that the president is unable to, quote, discharge the powers and duties of office. But a president can challenge these claims in Section 4. The VP and cabinet majority would then have four days to convince Congress that the president cannot carry out his duties. Then, lawmakers can only remove the president with a two-thirds majority vote in the House and Senate. Alicia Neaves, News 19, WLTX.